what is up you guys I hope you're having a beautiful day we were supposed to do a hike today but the weather isn't forgiving I mean it was raining and then the wet floor I don't want to go on a muddy hike so plans change things change now we go pick up Victoria <music> And Vic is here. Hi. We're going to go to Great World City today. Yeah. See that phone noise. We're going to go to Great World City today. So we'll see you there. But first, I want to take you to Tiong Bahru. Tiong Bahru. Because Vic has never been to this place before. Um, I have the. Okay, then that's pointless of me bringing you here, right? <laughs> then you can bring the people watching. Okay. So, Tiong Bahru is one of the old estates around. It's actually where I grew up. It's actually, this is my area before I head to the west side of Singapore. If you can see all the houses, they are like four stories. They are all, wow, look at the color of this. Look at this, Vic. Look at this. Oh. Old ancient houses. <laughs> the oldest, one of the oldest houses in Singapore. The oldest estates in Yeah, Singapore. one of the oldest estates in Singapore. But we'll take you around since I'm going to bring Vic around. It looks kind of cool at the same time. It looks kind of creepy at the same time as well. Let me show you. Behind all these four-story houses, there are like small alleys like that. Look how cool this is. Or look how creepy this is. Vic, over this alley here, there's a secret tunnel. There is a secret tunnel that was used during the World War II. Ooh. Yeah, but then the thing is... It's locked, right? Yes, it's locked. And we can't go in. And they only opened it like once a year or something for this heritage program or something like that in Singapore. This yeah. is it. This is it. This is this it. One? Yeah. No, no. This is not this one. Sorry. Not this one. It's this one. Over here. There's this tunnel here. This here is the one, Vic. This one. Ooh. This is the one. So you can see it's dark. It's locked. But you can go all the way inside and it goes down. Down, Vic. Look at how surprised Vic is. <laughs> if you look at this wall here, this is all like bricks. This is like all brick walls. This you can see it's almost like that the Fort Siloso type of wall. But of course it's painted and stuff like that. Ah oh, look at this. Look at this. They give you a little history. It's just a shelter, it's not a tunnel. Well, it's a tunnel and it's a shelter, it's the same thing. Okay, it's the same, same thing. Tiong Bahru Heritage Trail. And this is what it looks like. It's an air raid shelter. Look at this. This is what it will look like inside. I'm pretty sure there will be lots of lizards inside. Yeah, and bats. <laughs> yeah. A little history lesson today. Right, Vic? Yes. Where's your... Yay! Yay! <laughs> I mean, as time goes by, as you can see, the bottom is that air raid shelter. And then on the top now, you see everybody is living on there. There's housings now. Pretty cool. History, lots of history over here. Oh, look, a cat. <laughs> a cat. Speaking of history, I think not many of you know how me and Vic met. We actually told you guys about it through a live stream that we did. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll let Vic tell you how we met. So I met like now at USS Universal Studios during Halloween Horror Nights, which was like around three years ago I think back then I was a photographer with another bunch of photographers um, I think you have seen Tam Chin before and uh, we were all photographers and we come to Universal Studios to do a little photography and then Vic kind of knows Pam and then you know Desi was also there so that's how we all formed this whole group thing you know and uh, ever since then Vic is like a little sister to me <laughs> I have to take care of her Focus, focus. <laughs> All right, now we are going to go to Great West City. Let's go, Vic. Let's go. Yay! Vic, yay! Yay! Oh, we. <laughs> oh, this is your car? How do we. Which way did we go? We went there. Then we walked back. Oh. Why? 
hot. You figured it out already, yes. Vic? Okay. Alright, we finally arrived to Great West City. This is one of my favorite malls. And if you keep hearing that ping, it's because of Vic's phone. Yeah. I just went in the living room. She pressed it before yeah, I recorded. You wanna go down and do it again? No. What part of vlogging have I not taught you? You wanna go down and do it again? No! Let's so much... Glasses, Lionel is going to buy it. 350 only. It's only 350 and Lionel's buying it now. I mean guys, come on, for 350 I could like wear this for a day and I throw it away. Alright. Yeah, di disposable sunglasses, like what Vic said. <laughs> but looks good, right? Now Vic is jealous and she's putting on my glasses. Lionel oh, asked me to try it. No, it I didn't. It feels like crooked. No. Because your nose is crooked, Vic. No, it's straight. Yeah. I'm just going back into the car to put this in the car. I don't want to lose it again. Do you want to bureau the same thing? I'm not going to press it this time. Uh, the moment is gone. You spoil the moment. Vic being a kid again. And Vic wants to go to the pet store. Fishy, fishy, fishy. How do they like put the fish all through here? We got the same hairstyle. I mean, me and the... I know. Yeah. Ooh, being jerky. Rob. Rob will love it. Rob will love it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know slimes? Slimes uh, are very popular videos in, on YouTube now. Yeah, and Instagram. Yeah. So. What are you doing, B? It's nice to squeeze, you squeeze this. Can't believe they're still selling my old drone. Star Wars, my favorite section. <laughs> Vicky stoning, watching cooking stuff. I'm looking at the food. <laughs> okay, that means Vic is hungry. Vic is eating. We are going to go watch a movie and my god, the escalator is not working and I hate stairs! I haven't said this line for a while but um, yeah, I'm back to walking on stairs again. <sighs> now this looks like an abandoned mall. Everything is closed, Vic! It's all closed, Vic! Everything is closed! And, uh, oh, almost there. Why is it not working? I'm nearly there! Finally, at the top. Level. Vic, what are we watching? We're watching Maze Runner. Maze Runner. It looks like a maze here. Stair, stair runner. It's a maze. Run. We're watching Maze Runner. Maze Runner. We got the tickets. <laughs> Not again. Maze Runner. Vic, I know you like this guy. No, I don't. I like this guy. This, this two. This one? This both of them. Look at how big this cinema is. Ooh, wow. This is huge. Look at this. It's huge. Let's go, Vic. Expect a comprehensive review after this movie. Finally, the movie is over, but it's very, very late, and I gotta send Vic home first. It was a long movie. I mean, I'm impressed with Vic. Vic didn't sleep throughout the whole show. Yeah, She's too awake. I sleep? How could I sleep during Maze Runner? Because it's filled with action pack. Yes. It's a pretty good show. Vic, how many stars will you give this? Eight. Eight? Yeah. You're so biased. Eight. Because I, I like the Let me send and Vic. It wasn't boring. Let me send Vic home and I'll give you a proper movie review. You, you don't need to hear her movie review anyways. Yeah. <laughs> Bye Vic! See you Bye, buddy! Lionel. Boy, it is late. Maze Runner, Death Cure. It's the trilogy. It's the end of the trilogy to Maze Runner 1 and 2. 
Let me start by telling you what I dislike about the movie. I dislike the movie because it's too long! I felt like some parts of the movie was not necessary to complete the movie and even if they left it out, it would still be a great movie. I feel like the movie from Maze Runner 2 to this movie, it's a bit too long of a gap because I kind of forget what happened in Maze Runner 2. So it took me a while before I could like relate to some of the things that are happening in this movie. My problem is if you're gonna have such a long gap, then do a little a small recap of what happened in the previous movie so that we don't get lost you know what I mean there's a lot of sad moments going through this movie the sad moments in this movie didn't connect well with me I don't know maybe it's just me because I don't get too emotionally attached to the character so easily that's probably why I'm still single okay things that I like about the movie now I like that the movie ended well like there is no oh tune in next time I like the finishing it finishes the whole trilogy and Vic would probably tell you as well that she likes all the special effects and all the action. Yes, there's a whole lot of action going on in this movie. There were a lot of suspense and thrilling moments. It actually kept you on the edge of your seat. The two characters, Thomas and Nook. Like, I tell you, this whole movie is really about the friendship between these two characters. And they go in really, really, really deep in into this friendship bond that these two characters had. Alright, all in all. I'll give this movie a 6 star and if you have watched part 1 and part 2 of Maze Runner, you should definitely catch this movie. Let me, let me just put it this way, it's a pretty good movie to finish up a trilogy. I hope you enjoyed today's vlog and you guys know what to do, $3.50. Alright, let me know in the comments what you think of these glasses. Keep smiling and I'll see you in the next one. See ya!